Setting the boat on fire. <laughs> Why? Oh, yeah, there it is, Whoa. there it is. <laughs> How addicted can you be? Careful for the tick deck. And uh, that's in the high age, so, okay. Yeah. There's a trail look on. Touchscreen. Ja. Dan mag je nog vullen, maar de rest niet. Oké. Okay. Kan ik er een pakken? Ja, je mag alleen We went to uh, MG in Leeuwarden and um, uh, they showed us around uh, in their uh, in their offices. Uh, they seem uh, to know what they're doing and uh, delivering all kinds of uh, different systems, both for smaller purposes and uh, to the big super yacht uh, builders in Holland like uh, Royal Heisman as well. So. HE batteries, um, there's so much weight which we could save and even more uh, and, uh, storage capacity in the batteries that it makes sense to uh, to have a good look at it, I think. Maybe not even for the 55, but uh, I would expect that, uh, that your other customers uh, would be really interested in having more energy uh, and less weight. So that's why we are, we are having that conversation today is to really try and judge what uh, MG can offer you, can, um, can offer us as a, as a system, what could be the pros compared to uh, our known system. How many of the batteries will fit in the 55? Any um, modification on the furniture? Three, three yeah, including the aircon in the in the saloon. The, the limitation is the space underneath the bench with the battery and the aircon. Uh, For, for me, as, as, as a not very technical person, uh, they showed me their uh, assembly process and I wasn't able, I wasn't allowed to, uh, to video everything, but, but the, the base components, uh, like the little, these little batteries uh, that are packed together then, um, they are the same, uh, well, different brand, but the same components that Tesla uses as well. A lot of systems uh, integrated to protect the batteries and you haven't seen a Tesla catching fire in a while now. So I think they are pretty safe uh, cars. 
but they're, they have like, I don't know, a thousand of engineers that can work on a lot of systems. Uh, everything shut down uh, as soon as there is the slightest issue. And also on the, on the car, you have to remember that you can get out of the car. If you yeah. can. No, that, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big difference. So I, I, uh, I understand for sure that, uh, that if there's any risk that, uh, uh, that the system is going to run away in the middle of the ocean, that, uh, yeah. that we, want, we yeah. don't want it uh, on a boat. So basically, uh, it's clear that we will have to use MasterVolt then. Honestly, you can use other types of battery, but I would recommend uh, iron phosphate. But there is a topic of integration and how you how serviceable it is, how serviceable and how much uh, money you want to put in the in the solution. The master valve system is the one that we are using for a while. We have uh, knowledge for the after sales service. We have a very good partnership with master Vault. So if you have any issue anywhere on the on the world, they can. Ship batteries there. The question arose basically because we were uh, filling in this uh, energy balance spreadsheet in the beginning without a genset. And we tried all kinds of configurations and we were pretty sure that it, that it wouldn't be enough. My jury was kind of hesitant uh, oh, yeah. in, in uh, putting the genset on the, uh, on the option list. And uh, we were wondering whether there was a technical reason to be hesitant about installing a genset. Or is it just weight? Ma Mathieu, Mathieu really likes light boats. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I must say, like we, we are quite confident also about the new setup with this 55, because we've got that much solar panels um, on, the, on the roof that we've never had that much, actually, that, that many solar panels on an ultramate the first time we get to that, that far. And uh, the fact is, the first three boats uh, de de decided not to have a genset on board. Now that we've refined your usage and your expectations, I think it, it completely makes sense to have it. Exactly. On, on your case, it will save, I think, this, the genset save one mass combi and one lithium battery or two. In this setup, uh, as you described it here in the schematics, we would use the energy system exactly the same as we use uh, as we have used it on the lagoon. You can use almost all the devices on the left hand side solely on the on the batteries because you are charging like in the day if you want to run the dishwasher or I don't know uh, um, a cycle of, of washer dryer. Um, you can do it on the solar and on the, the batteries will be recharged uh, very quickly with the solar. So you don't have to use a genset for that. When one of the solar panels was in the shade then the whole group uh, would shut down basically. So effectively, on average, we had only three, four hundred watts uh, per hour, um, and and it should be a lot higher with the uh, with your setup. Yes, you have uh, five different MPPT, so you have four strings on the Bimini and one string on the David. System is very user friendly for making sure that at any point you can check what is your consumption, what is your output, what is your input, and what you can actually do. And it's true that, as uh, Omar was saying earlier, uh, there are times in the day where you're actually going to be full in battery, your battery are going to be full, you're not going to have much output, and still your solar panels are going to keep on wanting to charge a lot because it's two o'clock uh, in the afternoon and it's really hot and sunny. But um, the good thing is that the whole system allows you to always know where you're at, at which point you're at, and what you can and can't do. And as long as you're aware of this, you might say, well, actually it's two o'clock, 
Yeah, I'm, I, I would have waited tonight to do the dishwasher, but you know what? I'm, I've got 100 of the energy available. Why not doing it now? And we, the, that, that's what we really like about the system: is that it helps owners uh, becoming smarter about um, their their energy, uh, about dealing with their energy, really, mm -hmm. and using it rightly, using it smartly at the right time. probably too early for me to ask this question, but is, is there uh, a more or less idea about the weight difference uh, between our boat and, and the first three hulls? Oh, we can't we can work this out. Uh, I don't have the value in mind and we still have to speak to I would be surprised if it would be more than one ton difference, because I don't see where they, where they would save more than one ton. The 5X get easily two tons of options. In average, yeah, uh, Matthew confirms is that right. So, in uh, the lighter specs, 5x and the heaviest, you at least got a ton and a half, if not two tons. You can have a very light 5x for about a ton of option and a very heavy one for, for 2.5 to 3 tons. So, uh, uh, yeah, on the, on the 55, it won't be that different, I think. And if you look at the, if you look at the difference in the polars of the 5x. Uh, Mathieu sent me the three three different levels, uh, uh, two tons apart. And it, it was it, it's about tenths. It's it's marginal. It's really marginal. The 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 the, the biggest difference you will see in, in are in the very very light stuff. And, and the difference is acceleration. Exactly. Every time you tack in light choppy choppy seas, light wind, then you see a big difference. But, yeah. But, uh, once, once we're constantly on 20 knots, then it's not a problem anymore. <laughs> That's what you're saying. No, for sure, it's not like it's in the maneuvers, like to get the boat started again, that you'll see a little difference. And in the very light stuff, that you might switch off the engine at five knots rather than four knots of wind. But that's that that's really marginal. Like the 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 the, the cannibalies of the ultramar are studied to be able to cook with a big payload between the lightest boat we can do and the heaviest, because we know that yeah, from one boat to the other. I'll, I'll let you, I'll let Benjamin conclude, but uh, on my point of view, I think we probably should have a, another chat, maybe not right now, but with them maybe before the end of the week for other other points in the investigation. So uh, I just need to uh, make a little uh, briefing with, uh, with Benoit just to uh, make all the changes that you requested uh, in, the, in the last days. And so maybe we can have a chat again on Friday.